Hello everyone, this is Ankur Gupta and I work as a Java developer in Mindfire Solutions. In this video, I will be talking about how to run conditional SQL queries in Jaspersoft Studio. As I have seen that a lot of people are having trouble in, in performing this conditional SQL query task in the Jaspersoft Studio. So I, in this video, I will be demonstrating with the example and uh, we'll take along all the steps which are needed to follow, to be followed for the conditional SQL query. So let's move on to the Jaspersoft Studio. For this particular demo, I'll be using this Jaspersoft Studio 5.5. So moving on to Jaspersoft Studio. Okay, so this is Jaspersoft Studio wherein I have created a single uh, report with my dynamic parameter and the, this is the heading which I gave to the report. With, this is a pretty simple uh, query wherein what I have done is I have created two parameters as we see query select and the query. So if I see the query select param uh, parameter, it's a simple integer value which we are getting from the user like a user could enter 1, 2 or 3 and the expression which we will be having here for the selection is query select is, uh, if 1 then this particular query runs wherein the id is less than 5 means the four, uh, 4 records will be seen in that first one then between 5 and 9 for the query 2 and 3 is greater than 9 and if I select any weird number other than 1, 2 or 3, suppose a 4 or 5, it shows me all the values. For your information, uh, there are 20 records in the table which I am referring to. This is a MySQL DB which I have used here. So, and you need to really take care that this particular query uh, parameter comes after the query select in the parameter list because uh, we are referring to the query select pa uh, parameter in this particular query and if we do not give any value or something like if, if I just accidentally place it over here things will change. I will show you later on first a demo with the normal one. So in my query here I have just placed tolopy exclamation in the query. This is the parameter. Uh, this is showing an error but uh, it probably shows none while compiling so I think there is a, some, some kind of a problem with this like this shows an error but feels that it read properly so I will just go with the run a preview of this report and here we go I select 1 And we see there are five, four records which are less than five as I have said. So it seems working. And if I select any other, suppose I'm selecting three, this shows me greater than nine. So it shows me from 10 to 20. So it pretty, pretty much works fine. And if I do it four, it shows me all of the values as it's not 1, 2 or 3 so it shows me all 20 values. So this was a pretty simple example which I made out of it and if supposingly what I do is the problem which I'm talking about supposingly I have this query select and I give the default value of I give no value for default value and I place it below this. Let's see what happens. You give one here. It should show me four re four records. It shows me twenty because we have no value defined to the particular parameter. To that particular parameter, 
as we see here this query select is value which is coming after defining query so what will query will do it will first execute this expression which will give it the value as null as we don't have one two or three it's having null so in case these three won't work it shows me all the records that are 20 that, that is what we are seeing over there so we need to really take care that this query select which is a user entered parameter comes before this query and this query parameter needs to be false for the prompting as we don't want to modify the value for the query uh, parameter so now if we run preview this this will run fine again i'm going with one see it's this showing four records for this report so it's a pretty simple uh, query which i made out and hope that really helps you out uh, the people who are worrying because uh, the main issue which I see here is that we are not able to identify this. This is showing an error in this particular script. So probably if you do like this then I think it will work. If you don't select a language here, I think this is the fix for this report. So don't select any language or rather select SQL because we are uh, ultimately selecting the SQL from here so no worries like this is working fine over here so that comes to an end for this video thank you for watching my video you could also visit the official website of mindfair solutions on www.mindfairsolutions.com and even post views and comments on my video and if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments I will love to answer them. Thank you.